Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and, and behold, I'm with you always until the end of the age. And so uh, one of like the key kind of distinctives is that uh, Christians, when they would profess faith in Jesus and recognize that Jesus Christ had died for their sins in their place and became their Lord and Savior, they would be baptized. And what baptism represents, right, is burial with Christ, right, dying to their sins with him and then raised to new life again the same way that Jesus was buried and rose again from the dead. So there's a lot of symbolism going on here. It's super important. Now, here, here's, here's the crazy thing, right? As uh, the church has grown over the years, people start thinking there's special things about the water and there's all these different things going on. I can assure you there is nothing special about the water that's in this horse trough here, right? We, it is warm for the first time ever. So for those of you, yeah. For those of you guys that got baptized here in the past and it was like 40 degrees in there, there you go. Enjoy it, right? So we got a heater, right? But if you're getting baptized this morning, if you would go ahead and come on up and just uh, uh, sit over here uh, to be ready. Uh, and we're going to start with Brandon. Uh, kind of the, the process this morning is uh, each person is just going to share a little bit about how uh, they've come to know uh, Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And then we're going to get them in the water and we're going we're gonna to dunk them. So um, we're going to, I need to grab a... I'm Brandon. Uh, it's nice meeting all of you. Um... I moved here with my beautiful wife, Margaret, about and back in May, and we started going to Lathia in June. Uh, we are very happy that we got to this point. We're very excited to what God has in store for us here. Um, but a little bit about me. Um, I've been waiting for this moment for the past nine years now. Um, I got saved back in, the, in between the summer of sophomore and junior in high school, and uh, it was at a camp. And... Uh, before that, my, I was just living like a normal high school student, um, doing, being the better person um, and trying to do whatever I wanted to do. Um, it is always amazing to me, though, that God has a way to wake us up when we are at the lowest points in life. That is exactly what happened to me. Before I was saved, I lived and breathed baseball. Um, if you come to find me a little awkward at times, it's because instead of learning social skills, I was learning how to throw 90 mile an hour fastball. Um, that is until my sophomore year when I had a life-changing injury, like all the high school injury sob stories. Um, <laughs> it gave me time to start reflecting on my life. Uh, I started to go to church on a more consistent basis, and I was invited to this summer camp. Um, the Holy Spirit was knocking on my heart throughout that whole time, and it was until the last day where it just broke down the door to my heart um, and just awakened me. My eyes were opened, and I knew I had to live for his glory and not my own. They didn't baptize me at the camp and wanted the local churches to instead. Uh, at that time, we were church hopping a lot, so I didn't have really good foundations for a church to get baptized. And uh, later on, as time came about, started going to college, didn't find a church, and uh, when I was in Oklahoma the past couple of years, didn't have a church to really do it, and now, which is why I'm here, and I'm very excited to do this at a church that I feel very, uh, very fond to, and um, that's about it. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? All right. I'll come on the other side. All right. <laughs> Brandon, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then on your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in newness of life. Good town for him. So my name is Mui, and um, I've accepted Christ on October 13, uh, 2019, so recently. So, um, so both of my roommates are Christians, so every single day I would watch them wake up, get ready, and get dressed to go to church. And I would watch that process repeat itself every single Sunday um, until one day my roommate decided to ask me a very important question. That changed my life forever. She asked, Mui, 
do you, would you go to church with me? And I said, yes. Um, so I went to church and it, it was eye-opening. And um, what I saw was Pastor Kevin preaching about God. Um, and I learned that he's just a normal man who just loves God. And so before that, I was, I'm actually a Buddhist. I was raised Buddhist. And um, I knew there was a God that existed, but I didn't know what it was fully until I came to Aletheia Church. And every single day, um, every single Sunday that I went to church, it transformed me in a way where I couldn't believe. And because of God's work in me, um, without him, I wouldn't be here today. And what he has done over the past couple months has been amazing. Um, and I wouldn't be here without the people, and I want to say thank you to Ruthann and Rafa and Tanisha and my um, CG uh, people who helped me through this journey. And it, was, it wasn't it was always easy, as there were moments where I questioned, am I worthy enough to be a follower of Christ? Um, there were moments, I'm my Instagram is the five, so that means I have a lot of questions. <laughs> So I asked a lot of I asked a lot of tough questions about God, and I'm just so grateful that He has answered them. Um, and through the help of my CG and Rafa and Ruthann, that you know Bible study was amazing. And I'm just so grateful. Um, yeah, and I'm so excited to get baptized. <laughs> Thank you, so. Um, we would like to have her two friends help baptize her so we can get Hoffa and uh, Ruth Ann up here to help out as well. If we can get a towel ready for her this time around instead of <laughs> having people stay. All right. All right, you want to hop in? <laughs> You want to just go ahead and sit down? <laughs> All right. We have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Yes. Then I now baptize you along with Ruth Ann and Hoffa as my sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in newness of life. Hello, um, my name is Mitchell, um, and here is my story. Um, I was raised in a Catholic church. Um, I was a regular kid. I went to Sunday school, and I learned about Christ. Um, my parents were not very religious, and I wasn't either. I was baptized in a Catholic church when I was eight years old, but I don't really think I really believed. I went throughout elementary school and middle school without any understanding of what being a Christian really meant. I went to a Catholic high school and Christ seemed to slip further away from me. I considered myself agnostic for most of high school all the way until my sophomore year of college. This is when my close friend Taylor, who sadly cannot be here today, started telling me about his walk um, with Christ and how he changed because of it. Um, Hold up. <laughs> and, I, and I could see it in him, too. Um, he was calmer, stronger, and wiser than I'd ever seen him before, and he claimed uh, it all came from Christ. I couldn't believe it, um, but eventually, after much convincing, I went to him, to Aletheia, for a Sunday service. Um, I was taken away with everything that Aletheia and God had to offer. The people of Aletheia... The people I now consider my friends and family in Christ were the most genuine and nicest people I had ever met. The service and the praise of the word was the strongest I had ever seen at a church before, so I continued to come to Aletheia and learn about Jesus and his word, and I could feel, himself, feel myself growing closer to him. I went on Aletheia's men's retreat in the spring, and it was one of the single greatest retreats <laughs> I had ever been on. I knew that it wasn't just a fluke. God had placed these people and these opportunities around me for a reason, and that was to become closer with him. Sorry, I'm hearing up a little bit. 
Um, months followed, and I joined a discipleship group with Daniel um, um, and continued to go to church, and I, have, I even have helped lead a gospel community group. Um, I have grown stronger and wiser every day because of God, and I wouldn't go back for a second. I am a believer in Christ, and my identity comes from him, and it is the greatest feeling in the world to know that he is watching over me and protecting me. Sorry. <laughs> he knows all, and he loves all, and I'm so thankful to have him in my life. Mitchell, I think you said it, but I'll ask you again. Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then on your profession of faith, I now baptize you as my brother. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in newness of life. I'm going to say y'all a lot because I'm from Texas, so I apologize. In the beginning, I've been told I say it too much. Okay, like I said, hey y'all, my name is Alexis, and I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I'm a junior here at UF. My freshman year, I decided to go through recruitment at the University of Florida. Sorry. And ended up in a chapter that I didn't know would change my life. Going into college, I was extremely broken and filled with so much anxiety about what was to come ahead. I was moving away from my family, who I loved so much in the place that was all I knew. It is through the sovereignty of God that he put me in my sorority chapter that led me to the woman who guided me in my face so much. God graced me with amazing friends and roommates who continually root me back to the joy and love of Jesus and is something that I didn't know I needed until this year. I cry a lot. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My freshman year, I was fulfilling myself with things and people that led me so far away from the Lord, but I am so grateful that he continually pursued my heart and saved me. I didn't know what I was missing until the Lord filled my heart with his love and freed me from so many emotions of anxiety and bitterness that I was holding on to for so many years. As I am typing this, I currently, I currently have six exams in the span of two weeks, and I can wholeheartedly say I, have, I haven't stressed out once over them because I know the Lord is sovereign and I trust in his plans for me, which is such a drastic change. If this was the same time last year, I'd probably be crying, stressed, and make, making excuses how I don't even have time to come to church today. I realized I need to let God's peace control my heart and not my own feelings or emotions. When we are dependent on him and his word, we can have joy no matter what we face because he gives us peace. He is so good and I feel so blessed to be able to commit my life to him and serve him every day. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't hear y'all that many times. <laughs> All right. There you go. All right. Alexis, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then as you, on your profession of faith, I now baptize you as my sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in newness of life. <laughs> All right, so um, as I tear up here, guys, this is my oldest son, Gideon. <laughs> and so he's been wanting to get baptized for some time, so uh, he's a little nervous. Are you ready to go? All right, but he's going to read this off of the patron that we worked through yesterday. Go ahead and hold the mic up to your mouth. There you go, buddy. Okay. I can't really remember when I started believing in Jesus, but my mom and dad have always talked to me about about Jesus with me. I do know that I was very young when I started believing that God's only son and that he died for our sins even though Jesus was innocent he did die for us and he still forgives us. This makes me happy because it is very high grace to me. As I have grown up I make mistakes like being mean to my brother, not listening to my mom and dad, and talking out of turn. Because of Jesus, I know that God forgives me for all of my sins. I'm getting baptized today I, because I trust Jesus and he is my savior.
want to sit down? All right, Gideon, have you trusted in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then I now baptize you as my brother in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in newness of life. A testimony to God's faithfulness to his mission, which is to see the gospel in the likeness of his death and raised to walk in newness of life.